Hey guys, Rick Shaw here, and it is the 7th of November, uh, five days after the election and we got nothing yet. Uh, this is a big uh, bone job. Uh, watch this thing with the watermarks. I'm going to tell you again, go to this John Masters site. I'll see if I can put the link underneath about these watermarks on val official ballots. So it seems like something like that was done. It's just a big crop of baloney. I mean, anybody in their right mind who looks at this and sees all the people that showed up for Trump and nobody showed up for Biden. I mean, come on. How many American people, honestly, when they listen to this, uh, I call her the Joker, because she looks like the Joker in the original Batman, is this uh, Kamala Harris woman. Hey, we're going to take your guns. I mean, she's just right off the bat. We're going to take your guns. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to vote for that? I mean, come on, that's the teeth. That's the teeth of our Bill of Rights. You know, the, this is this is why they haven't pulled their crap before. But now, now they're 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 all out, full into this. So, oh, well, I was going to make a video real early this morning, but I had what, that stupid uh, this stupid heart thing again hit me, and. Uh, it hit me, woke me up, so I didn't have time. I usually chomp on some aspirin because the doctor told me the biggest worry when it starts fluttering like this is that I could throw clots. Usually, though, when this happens, I get uh, much notice, you know, because it starts hurting my stomach first, and I'll chomp on an aspirin. But this time, I was into it. Uh, didn't get up real high, only hit about 128 was the highest one. Not too bad, but it just made me sick feeling. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I just felt horrible. We got the tutor here. Uh, she's teaching the kids. Usually, I go first, but I'm going to go last this time just because I, when she first came, I just didn't feel right yet. But I'm much better now. I feel much better now. But uh, watching this election thing, very sad. Uh, and the things that are going on here, you look at, we still got lockdowns and stuff, and, and pay, you need your pass to go anywhere. We can't, we can't go down to look at our house. Uh, there's just so much baloney that's going on right now, uh, you know, and I, and I worry for my kids' future. I, I got three little babies, and I, I worry greatly how their life's going to be, you know. This, this whole COVID baloney, this COVID was a big cover for the election, I'm telling you. It, this, it was a big thing so they could get these mail-in ballots and they could scam all of us people. We've, we've been scam folks. Now, I hope we can pull this out, but uh, I'm telling you what, it's not looking, it's not looking real good right now. It's, it's, it's looking terrible. And uh, I don't think this Biden fellow is going to last long at all. They'll come in and they'll pull him out with dementia or something like that. And then we're going to have this nutbag woman in. Uh, you know, take a close look at this uh, Kamalia Harris. So what kind of person she is. She's, she's bought and paid for a long, long time ago. She always has been. She always has been. What, she was, uh, she was running around with a married guy for a long time? Yeah, because she was bought. He was paying her. You think she did that for nothing? She wasn't doing that for nothing. She was bought and paid for since she's been young. And she lies, oh, I'm a black woman. I, I don't know. Look at her history. She's not. She just, and now she's got the, now she's throwing this black accent. I just get the biggest kick out of this. Whenever, whenever they're really looking for man, I got to have me the boat. You got to give me the boat. Come on, let's go. Get the boat for me, because the color of your skin. Huh? Come on, people. You know, you know what I'm starting to see? I'm actually starting to see a lot of uh, black folks, they're waking up. You know, I, when, I, when I was young, there was a, this main road going through our town, and, and the, the one side of the road, uh, let's see, I guess it was the west side, was mostly white folk, almost all white folk. But on the other side was mostly black folk. And that's the way it had been since the 30s or 40s. It's just the way it was, and it stayed that way. You know, stayed, people owned the property and their kids grew up and all this stuff. Well, when I was buying a house, over on the, the basically what you call the white section, my house was gonna cost you 30,000 back then. This is, way, this is way back. 
And then, but down on the black section, I got a house for 8000 It was a fixer-upper, and I fixed it up. I did, a, I did a nice job, fixed it all up. And I, and I was around a lot of, lot of black folks, that, you know, just Democratic voters. They, they didn't even think. They walked in and pulled the Democratic ticket because that's what Grandpappy did, you know. But now, of all these people, I, st I still talk to a lot of these guys. You know, some guys, I went fishing with them. You know, we're, we were hunting buddies and stuff. And they're waking up. And they're saying, you know what? We don't want to deal with these. They're, they're not out to help us. They pander to them for their votes, period. That's all they want out of them. They don't give a flying crap. These, these politicians don't give a flying crap about any of us, white, black, red, or green. It don't matter. They don't care about us, you know. And now we got this, this man, uh, Trump, in here who actually gives a dang. <laughs> somebody, somebody, it it's just seems to me he gives a dang, okay. But, man, these, these people, and so many of the people I know that were Democratic. I, I have one friend, his, his mother and father, just straight Democratic ticket their whole lives. He's retired. He's been retired for like 10 years, 10, 11 years now. He said it was the first time he pulled a straight Republican ticket, him and his wife both. You know? <laughs> he was like, hey, I, just pulled, I just pulled that straight ticket. He, first time. First time, you know, he was a bomb voter and all this kind of stuff. And he said, this stuff's got to stop. And, and, and I've been hearing this from a lot of them. Uh, I knew some folks out in California, uh, you know, the staunch liberal nutbags don't. But a lot of them that were, you know, sitting on the fence. You know, I just saw a thing on YouTube, a 95-year-old man, uh, he voted for the first time in his whole entire life. Guess who he voted for? <laughs> Trump. You know, this, this is happening all over the place. And I don't really know anybody who voted Biden except three people. Uh, you know, liberal people that I, I still in contact with. One of them not anymore. You know, I actually had to shut him off my channel because he's, he's actually, uh, I truly believe he's insane. He's, he's like stalking me now. And uh, very, very... Uh, sick fellow. I feel really, really bad for him, but he's, he's a sick guy. And some of, some of you guys on YouTube know who he is, uh, and you know he's, he's in trouble. He's really in trouble. And I feel sorry for his girlfriend. You know, I really do. But, because uh, she don't know any better. She thinks, you know, he's just a normal American. And <laughs> he's a real sick, sick guy. But uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people, a lot of people who change their vote. Uh, you know, and they vote a Republican, so I don't know. Keep keep an eye on the watermark stuff. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put the link in there with this John Masters. I've been watching his channel for quite a long time. And he's evolved uh, over the years with stuff that he puts up. And, and I'll tell you what, I find I share him a lot more than anyone else anymore. You know, I used to watch Lisa Haven, but uh, gosh, every, she, everything's so dramatic with this broad. You know, she just reminds me of the skanks that used to hang around when I was young. You know what I mean? They were just everywhere. And you, you couldn't get rid of them. And everything's so dramatic with this broad. I, I, so I pretty much don't, I don't like to watch her anymore. You know, yeah, she's got a lot of viewers. Great. You know, I even seen in the comments where they think she's so beautiful. Yeah, because these guys are still trying to get a, a skank look. And I don't know if she's skank. I, maybe not. I, probably not. You know what I mean? But just that's just the look. She's got that look. And like I say, so damn dramatic on everything. But uh, watch Richie from Boston. He, he's kind of gloom and doom. You know, it, it's everything. Everything's gloom and doom. You know, I don't think things change as fast as they're going to happen. I mean, if you look at uh, if you look at what's going to happen in uh, Revelation and the Rapture and all this stuff, we're, we're a long way off from a lot of stuff yet. Uh, probably not in my lifetime. I doubt it. But uh, keep your eye out, you know, keep your eye to the sky, you know, like it like says in the Bible, you know, you can tell by the weather, by the sky, or the weather and all this stuff, so just keep watching. And uh, everybody in all these, what they call battleground states, you need to call your legislatures. You do. And something else, too. You, you guys that are the, the voters, you know, the electoral college, you guys... Vote your conscience, you know, vote your conscience. It's, it's very clear, I 
it's very clear, never in the history that I ever remember, all the way back to Carter, I don't remember of anybody stealing an election before, or, you know, that we knew there was some corruption in local stuff, but never national. It just never seemed that way, even with Obama. But this time, sorry guys, it's it's just blatant. It's it's blatant, the, the thievery that's going on, and they're stealing our vote. And they're going to give these people who are going to go with this one world government, and we're going to get boned. Hey, buy stock in KY Jelly, guys. Uh, me, I already went down to, to change my name to Bend Over. You know, it's, it's just... It's just what's going on. It's, it's so sad. It's, it's actually pissing me off because I've got three young children. And I, I really am concerned about their future because, you know, even though I'm here in the Philippines, they're going to follow. They're going to follow what's going on. So. But all I can say is talk to the good Lord. You know, uh, we, can't, we can't fight this battle by ourselves. You know, we're going to have to put on his arm. We have to have the armor of God before we can do anything. Otherwise, we're lost. You know, hopefully, uh, if his will be done. End of story. Don't forget to pray for each other. This is Rick Shaw out.